Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. My name is Kyle and welcome to the Slow Flow. Thanks for stopping by. Today we've got a really playful 25 minute slow vinyasa flow, which is gonna get you more than comfortable with regulating stress and anxiety in your body by using the really powerful yogic breathing technique called the Ujjayi breath. And if you have no idea what this is, don't worry. I have put a link to a video down below, which explains everything you need to know. And at the same time, we're gonna be working on the foundations as we slow things down and building a bit of strength and flexibility along the way. And if you ever fancy seeing any behind the scenes of what goes into creating these videos, you can always hit me up on Instagram. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe and notifications bell. It really does go a long way with the algorithm. Otherwise, when you're ready, you can grab your mat and let's begin. Welcome back. You can make your way to a comfortable seat, rest your hands on your knees, palms facing up. Today we're going to be focusing on the Ujjayi breath and this is not something that you need to try and worry too much about. Um, it's difficult to kind of see whether you're doing it all right or wrong but the idea is that you have a slight restriction in the throat and over time you will feel what feels good really. It'll, you'll kind of get gauge an idea. The idea is that you're restricting the throat so you can lengthen the breath and it's not something you need to like stress too much about. Similarly with your practice today don't worry too much about what it looks like. Again, we're gonna feel our way through our practice, making sure that our breaths are long and smooth. Just seeing how that changes the experience because it is the experience that's gonna keep you coming back to the practice. And I have a block here. Now, again, don't stress too much about this block. Um, I'd like to see what you think about it. I'm gonna show you how to use the block in two postures. You don't need a yoga block. You can use even a book. You're just creating a bit of height between you and the floor. And I feel like it could be very, very useful. Um, I will come out with a series later on how to use props in your practice. And it does allow you to progress in a more comfortable and a safe fashion. I'll show you two and see what you think. Um, you can let me know in the comment section. So bring yourself to a comfortable seat. Take a nice deep breath in. And with an exhale, bring your eyes to close. Take a moment just to arrive into stillness. It's often with our practice we bring in uh, the, the day behind us onto our mat. So give yourself a chance just to shake it off and to begin again and draw your attention onto your breath. And like I always say, there is only so much I can do on my side. The rest is entirely up to you just to, with a sense of compassion, be with whatever comes up in your practice today and keep returning to your jai breath. Take a deep breath in to full. Open mouth, exhale to release. Nice and slow, inhale to fill, it might be a bit harder on the way in. Exhale to let it go. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky, touch above your head, reach your fingers. Exhale, bring your hands through to prayer at your center. Now, it's a nice opportunity just to ground down in an intention for your practice. Just embodying perhaps a sensation or a word or an emotion behind it. By your head towards your hands to seal that off. And when you are ready, we will begin in standing or samasitihi at the top of our mats. So, feet touching, bring your hands to prayer, nice and tall, close your eyes and turn your ujjayi breath on. Now, we're going to begin to just do some shoulder rolls, left and right. Still keeping your eyes closed. And in an inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, slowly dive down to the floor. Now, from here, relax the back of the neck. We are going to roll up to standing. And we're going to kind of do big circles. So swooping off to the right-hand side, slowly roll up. You can keep your hands wherever you like. And as you exhale, roll down the left-hand side. It's kind of like doing some organic barrel rolls of sorts here. And we can change directions with your breath. Inhale, swoop over to the left. Open up your chest. Exhale over to the right and down. Come through center. Inhale, high mountain. Arms reach up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back. Keep your eyes closed. Relax your face with your fingers interlaced. Inhale, open up your chest. 
Exhale, bow down, bend your knees and fold at the crease of your hips. Send your hands up and over your head. You are more than welcome to pedal your legs out from left to right, just shifting the weight from one foot to the next. Release, inhale, standing wind remover. Draw your right knee into your chest, interlace the fingers, gentle squeeze, balance. If you need to, you can always bend your left leg, your standing leg, inhale, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, standing L or standing split. So with control, hands come to the floor, light on the fingertips, right heel comes up, relax the back of the neck. Gently bend your left leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, standing wind remover, left side rise up, interlace, left knee draws in and out. Find the balance, bend your standing leg if you need to. Shoulders back, tuck the chin. Inhale. Exhale, standing L, standing splits, hands down. Left heel comes up, relax the back of the neck, bend your standing leg. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, step back. And again, if you need to, you can always lower your knees. Now we're gonna do some, again, fluid rolling motions here. Keep your eyes closed. If you need to, you can look at the screen, but just to get an idea. From here, I'm going to inhale, send the hips high up into the sky, bring your chest down towards your toes. Exhale, bring your knees to hover just off the ground. So with your knees hovering just off the ground, inhale, shift the hips back, 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 and then up, and lower the heels down. So that's kind of the motion we're going for here. So keep your eyes closed. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just keep your attention as you move, kind of embodied with your breath. Inhale, send your hips and toes and heels up to the sky, press. Exhale, bring your knees to hover just off the floor, engage your core. Inhale, send your hips back, keep your knees low. Exhale, slowly straighten your legs out, bring your chest down towards your toes, nice. Now with your ujjayi breath, inhale, heels and hips high. Exhale, bring your knees to hover. Inhale, shift your hips back, back, back. Exhale, raise the hips up, lower the heels down. Well done. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, plank, ripple forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down to your belly. Nice and slow, elbows in if you need to lower the knees. When you get there, untuck your toes. Have your hands out beside you, elbows facing up. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, shoulder dip the right down. You can look up and over the left shoulder if need be. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, shoulder dip the left. Inhale, open up the chest, hold. Tuck your chin, lift the back of the neck up to the sky. Now take the weight off your fingertips. More, 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 and send the arms back. Squeeze. Now point through the fingers and the toes to the back. Hold one more breath in. Lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, release hands down. Tuck your toes, inhale into your belly. Exhale, child's pose, press back. Well done. This is home base. If you need to, you can always return here for whatever reason. Inhale, ride right up tabletop. Tuck your toes, exhale, down dog. Shift the weight back. Inhale, knees bend, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, fold down and release. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, half moon variation. So lower your left arm down to your hip and reach the right arm up and over. Now, stay here. Squeeze your thighs, engage your glutes, reach to the fingertips. As you release, take your right arm, wrap over the head, take your left ear and draw your right elbow down towards the floor. So keeping your left arm long, you're feeling a stretch from your ear all the way down your left arm. Release the right arm down. Inhale, left arm reaches up. As you exhale, half moon variation over to the right side. Keep your thighs engaged, reach to the fingertips, perhaps closing your eyes. Keeping your right arm relaxed and pointing down. Take your left arm, reach it up and over. Take hold of the right ear and draw the elbow to the left hand side, feeling a stretch along your right side. 
Release your hands down. Inhale, both arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold at the crease of your hips. Inhale, halfway lift to prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. Lower your knees if you need to. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga with control, lower halfway. Keep your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Roll over the toes, squeeze your thighs, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog, shift back. Five, good luck. <laughs> Sorry. Five breaths. Take a moment to reconnect with the ujjayi breath and see if you can use your attention to follow the breath from the moment it arises to the moment it ends. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step jump or float, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, arms reach up. Exhale, samasitihi, bring your hands to prayer, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, high mountain, arms rise. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, bend your knees, sit down into Utkatasana. Raise your arms up alongside your ears, close your eyes. Feel steadiness in your breath. Softness in the face. Inhale, sink a little bit lower, notice your breathing. Exhale, fold and let it go. Well done. Inhale, halfway lift to prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga with control. Lower to mid plank, elbows tucked in against your ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Now roll the shoulders back, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up. Heels down. Five breaths. Inhale, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step jump or float, forward fold. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, well done. Inhale, Utkatasana, sit into the heels. Reach through your fingertips, relax your face. Inhale, standing window remover, left knee draws into the chest, interlace the fingers and squeeze as you roll your shoulders back. Exhale, figure four, place the left foot on top of the right. Bring your hands to prayer and flex your left toes a lot. Inhale, Tadasana, left knee draws up, arms reach up. Exhale, half moon, right arm down, left arm up, fly your flag, here comes the block. So, if you have something, you can place your hand onto the block and reach through all the limbs and you've got options. You've got the high, you've got the medium and the low. The idea is that you're going to give yourself some support so you can open your hips up and reach through the fingertips. Upala, find your balance. Release, touch the foot, left foot down, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, keep your front leg bent and reach back. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee. Reach your arm alongside your ear. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg and reach to the back. Exhale, full triangle. Now, shift the weight forward and if you have a block or if you would like to know, Keep your block by your front heel and kneecap up into the hip, shift the weight forward, then place the arms down to 12 and 6 o'clock. Now the idea is that you can gently support yourself here, 
pressing up, leading through the arm. And again, with all these extensions, you want to open up the chest and open the hip up as you lower your side body forward and down. To release safely, bend your right knee first. Inhale, reverse warrior, keep the front leg bent and reach back. Exhale, plank, windmill your hands down and step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway, Chaturanga. Keep your elbows in nice and strong. Keep your head in line with your spine. Inhale, upward facing dog. Power through the arms, roll the shoulders back, lead through the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, shift back. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, knees bend, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Shoulders draw back. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, chair, sit down. Arms reach, wrap your pinkies in and draw the shoulders down. Be with whatever comes up. See if you can soften. So soften the face, soften the breath. Keep yourself regulated in these moments of strain. Inhale, standing wind remover. Right knee draws into the chest. Feel the relief in the left leg. Flex the right toes, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, figure four. Right foot stacks on top of the left. Hands come to prayer. Keep your hips square to the floor. Flex your left toes a lot. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Right knee up, arms reach. Now, with control and balance, open up. Exhale, half moon. Left arm down, right arm up. Here comes the block. So, for me, I like to keep it on the highest position. I like to reach through the arms. Roll your right hip open. Keep all your limbs nice and strong. Breathe. Use your core to lengthen out your spine. Release. Touch the foot back down. Warrior two. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm and reach back. Exhale, extend it side. Middle to no weight on the front leg as you reach to the fingers and open your chest up. Inhale, reverse triangle. Now straighten your front leg and reach. Exhale, full triangle. With a straight leg still, draw the kneecap up into the hip for protection. Shift the weight forward and lower the arms down six and 12. If you have a block, again, on the, in line with your either your front heel or just a little bit back, but you're looking to get a nice straight line through the arms as you lower your side body forward and down and rotate your right hip and right shoulder open. Release, inhale, bend the left leg. As you inhale, reverse warrior, reach all the way back. Exhale, plank, windmill your hands down. Well done, step back. Again, notice the shoulders, save them if you need to, inhale, Shift the weight forward for the last time, nice and strong. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, elbows. Keep them tucked in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Squeeze your thighs, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shift back. Well done. Inhale, knees bend, look forward. Exhale, step, jump to a seat. Extend both legs out in front of you. I suppose while we're here, I can always add in another one. If you have a block and you have tight hamstrings, like me, Place the block down, place your knees onto the block so you can have a little bend and press down. Shift the arms forward and up, and as you exhale, release into Pachimottanasana. You wanna keep your chest open and spine straight. Keep breathing. And have a look at your feet. See if you can make sure that you are leading with the front of your toes. So you kind of like want to flex out the tendency for your feet to Bow in, but really open it up like a nice book and press through the center of your big toes. And release. Inhale, roll up. As you exhale, lower down onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze. Send your heels up to the sky, coming into happy baby, taking the outer blades of your feet. Now, if the outer blades are too much, that's totally fine. Take hold of the knees or the hamstrings and you can work your way up. You need to 
pull down on the outer blades, opening the knees out wide, tucking your chin, and then at the same time, press up through the heels to get your tailbone onto the floor. You're looking for a straight spine. Close your eyes, and if you like to, so you can add a little rock from left to right, just massaging it out. Inhale, we will draw your right knee into your chest, left leg comes out long for a reclined wind remover, just for a breath. With your exhale supine twist, lower the leg over to the left side, look up and over the right shoulder. Inhale, draw your right knee into your chest. Exhale, switch it out. Draw the left leg in. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, supine twist. Lower the leg over. Look over the left shoulder. Hold and breathe. Now it's up to you to keep your attention on your mat. So really focus on the breath as you allow yourself time to wind down. Inhale, draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze. Raise the forehead up towards your knees. Connect with your intention. Exhale, release into Shavasana. Well done. Take up some space. Relax the toes and the fingers. Relax your face. Inhale to full. With a long exhale, release and let it all go. Well done. As you like, completely still, just notice what comes up for you and see if you can just remain the awareness behind the thoughts. Just feeling into every breath as you use your exhale to just let go and relax. You're welcome to lie here as long as you like. Thank you for putting such beautiful effort into your self-practice and into this channel. The support is so greatly appreciated. If you'd like to say hi or even a quick namaste, I will be in the comment section. Hearing from you guys is really, really great. And I will see you here next time on your mat. Namaste.